some good news uh, for uh, Indian doctors, Indian medical students. The National Medical Commission India has been awarded the coveted World Federation for Medical Education Recognition status for a tenure of 10 years. And this means that uh, Indian uh, medical graduates can now practice in countries abroad, uh, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Let's go across to Priyanshi uh, for more on this. And Priyanshi, you know, otherwise uh, they had to take another exam when entering that country. So now this is great news uh, for medical uh, students. Absolutely, Gargi. This is great news for medical students in India. Indian medical graduates uh, can now pursue postgraduate training and practice in other countries such as the United States, Canada, Australia and New Zealand as well as Indian medical colleges have been awarded a global accreditation. Now, the National Medical Commission of India or the NMC has been granted the coveted World Federation for Medical Education or WFME recognition status for a tenure of 10 years. Now, now with NMC being WFME accredited, all Indian students uh, that get medical degrees from all colleges under NMC become eligible to apply for Education Commission on Foreign Medical Education and United States Medical Licensing Examination as well. Now it will also enable Indian medical graduates to pursue postgraduate training and practice in other countries that require WFME recognition. These countries include the United States, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. This, this will also increase the international recognition and reputation of Indian medical schools and professionals and facilitate academic collaboration and exchanges giving Indian medical colleges a global recognition. So what does this really change? Well, earlier if medical graduates from India with let's say an MBBS degree wanted to go and practice in other countries such as the United States, they would have to get their accredited education and examinations and certifications. For example, the Education Commission on Foreign Medical Education Education or ECFMG is the primary body in the United States that oversees policies and regulations around licensing international medical graduates. So in order to take the United States medical licensing examination, all international medical graduates must be certified by ECFMG. But here's the catch, only students with degrees from WFME accreditation could uh, apply for the Education Commission on Foreign uh, Medical Education Certification or EF, uh, ECFM EC uh, certification. So that's why earlier Indian students didn't have these accredited degrees. But now with this recognition, Indian medical colleges degrees will also be recognized, making Indian students eligible to practice in these countries. Now, does this include all colleges in India? As part of this recognition, all the 706 existing medical colleges in India under the National Medical Commission will become WFME accredited and the new medical colleges that will come up in the coming 10 years will also automatically become accredited. The government says this recognition will further enhance the quality and standards of medical education in India by aligning them with the global best practices. Getting this accreditation has cost India a lot too. The direct recognition process entails a fee of $60,000 per medical uh, college. That means that India spent around 352 crore rupees for the accreditation of 706 colleges. But definitely this will majorly benefit Indian students.